Today's topic is what is one of the biggest misconceptions about the collegiate recruitment process? So there are a lot of misconceptions about the collegiate recruitment process. One of them is that you have to score a lot of points in order to get a scholarship. Uh, what a lot of players don't understand is this, uh, depending on the program, they might already have someone that's a scorer on their team that they want to shoot the ball. So if you handle the ball, um, if you can break the press, if you rebound well, um, if you play good defense, stick to your strengths, but also work on the things that you need improvement on. So I hear a lot of players saying that, you know, I only scored X amount of points per game, or you have a lot of parents saying, well, my son only, you know, scored X amount of points per game, or he don't shoot the ball enough. Um, it depends on what the college coach is looking for. He might not necessarily be looking for a score. Uh, let's be clear, coaches don't want everybody shooting the basketball. There's only usually two or three players on the team that he wants shooting the basketball. Um, now, if you're open, of course you can shoot it. Don't fall in love with, you know, I have to score a lot of points every single game in order to get a scholarship. If you do other things very well, that might be what that coach is looking for. It really just depends on the system. This week on the Life Lead Shot Clock Show, we have Cam Flowers of the undefeated Huntington Middle School basketball team. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. So you guys finished the regular season at 10 and 0. How do you feel you guys are preparing for the playoffs knowing that teams are going to be gunning for you? I feel that we should not overlook no team and we should take on one-on-one -on -one until we get to the top and win the championship. So Cam, you're averaging 9 points, 2 assists, 2 steals per game. Your team is loaded with talent. What do you feel your role is on the team and how do you feel you guys play with so much talent? I feel that I bring the energy and the defense to the court and I feel that if we work together that we can win any game. The only thing we gotta do is play hard and play everything on the court. Of course we know athletes aspire to play professionally. What are some of your long-term goals athletically and educationally? My educational goals is to go to college and to get a criminal justice degree. And my athletic goals is to work hard and make it to the next level. So one thing Jeff Tarver loves about you is that you take initiative in regards to doing your work off the court. Where does this initiative come from? It comes from my mom because every day when I come home from school, she asks, do I have homework? And if I do, I need to do it right now. So I won't be lacking in the future when she's not there. And I just love her for doing that for me. Cam, you're currently in the Life League Coalition program that simulates collegiate recruitment, collegiate play, and life as a pro. What have you learned from the program and how do you enjoy it so far? I learned how to talk to recruiters when they had come to ask me questions about my life. And I, I really enjoyed it because it showed me what to do and how to do it when I get to the next level. We hear you currently being recruited by three schools in the Life League Coalition program. What school will you be signing with and why? I'll be signing with B State University because they have a full scholarship. It's a D1 school and they have a criminal justice program. So how can people follow Cam Flowers on social media? You can follow me on Instagram at callmecam underscore one. Well, Cam, thanks for coming out to the show. We look forward to following you and your future success. Thank you. So Jeff, how important is it to get professional training for youth athletes? Well, getting professional training, in my opinion, is very important because there's a big difference um, between shooting basketball um, in your driveway or in your backyard as opposed to actually going to someone who actually knows what they're doing and can train you properly on whatever it is that you actually need to know. This goes for basketball, baseball, football, and even just working out. Um, if you have someone there that's certified, that knows exactly what it is that they're doing, you can tell a big difference on the court or on the field or on the track or on the baseball field, wherever in that particular athlete, um, as opposed to their opponents. Uh, we go to a lot of games and you can tell the difference between the ones who've been training and the ones who've probably just been shooting basketball in their front or backyard. For instance, um, Northside Middle School girls basketball team has been blowing everybody out this year. Um, I think their average margin of victory is over 20 points per game. And those girls, they play together, they train, they work hard all year round. 
So you can see the difference between those girls on that team and their competition the whole season long. So like I said, if you have a parent that has played before and knows and understands the game, um, yeah, you can train with that particular person. You don't necessarily have to go and train with a professional. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that just because the person played the sport that they actually know, you know, how to actually train. There's a difference also between just um, learning skills and technique and things of that nature and actually having a, an IQ for the game because you can, you know, jump out the gym and do those other types of things, but if you don't understand the game, you're still gonna be confused when it gets to the next level. So um, I advise all parents, if you don't understand that particular game, that particular sport, please invest the money to, get, to go and get a certified trainer that knows exactly what it is that they're doing. Before you cut it to the top 10 players of the week, be sure you go get your Life League merchandise at lifeleadcoalition.com. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at lifeleadga. See you guys next week on the Life League Shot Clock Show. Coming in at number 10, we got Joshua Shannon with the step back. Coming in at number 9, we got the smooth one, Killer Cam Perkins. Coming in at number 8, we got Jalen Honan showing y'all how to pump fake. <laughs> Coming in at number seven, we got D3, AKA Daniel Patterson, putting in work. Coming in at the sixth spot this week, we got my dog, Jaden Ingram. He actually hit the game winning shot this game, y'all. Coming in at number five this week, we got number 51, my dog, Justin Thomas, putting in work. I see you, Justin. Coming in at number four, that's right, I said four. We got the Quiet Storm, AKA Cam Flowers, AKA Flower Power. I see you, Cam. Coming in at number three, we got my dog, number 10, Darius Patterson with the crossover and the Eurostep. Coming in at the Deuce Spot, we got number 23, the Block Party, AKA Aaron Jones, just snagging the ball out there. Coming in at the top spot this week, we got number 30, Jay Aura out of Perry Middle School, hitting five threes in the second half against Mossy Creek. Left the gym smoking. <laughs> Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also follow us on social media. We appreciate y'all support. Shout out.